This morning, we are making music magic, and we are going to speak to a little bit of a legend, Pelham Goddard, who is a musician. And if you don't know, he um, has a long and illustrious career in music, and I'm happy to have a conversation with him this morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome. Thank you for being here this morning, this early time of the early, morning. Early, early. <laughs> <laughs> had to come out of bed a little bit earlier than usual, I presume? Yeah. Well, I get up a you know, reasonable time, right, right? Two, right. three, quarter to six, anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. good. That's, that's good, healthy lifestyle. Yeah. You know, to get up early, start yeah, the day. Get some off, nice um, year, uh, morning breeze. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you have... <coughs> Uh, long career in music. Um, yeah. You have been involved in music probably since birth because both your parents had been involved in music. Yeah, and you had been yeah. immersed in music for a long time. Yeah. So I understand your mother, she was a graduate of Trinity and Royal School of Music. Royal School and yeah. your father played and yeah. read music by ear. By ear, yeah. All right. So, um, and in, in fact, your brothers as well, they were. They were pan people, they were pan panists from early. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually started off your your first instrument you were playing were the drums if I'm well the the taster drum from Clarence Street Balma who say right you know I used to <laughs> run away and go and play there so <laughs> it was a, a, a um I we have a learn a lot of rhythms now. right right so rhythms and then a lot of uh, influences in in that area right right you right, know, right yeah. and yeah. I understand um. In your school days, you used to get in a little bit of trouble because when yeah, a, beat a the rhythm bench. took you, it beat the bench. Yeah. And then you'd get, some <laughs> get yourself in some make trouble. Make noise, make yeah. noise. <laughs> For making noise in the people's school. Yeah. <laughs> but then later on, you um, discovered the piano when your father returned from Germany. Yeah. Right. And he brought the piano home. Yeah. And mm -hmm. for you, that was it. That was it. That was the start of it. That was the start. And, yeah, and, and you, the how start. you really delved yeah. into that yeah. instrument itself. And learn self to, well, well, after hearing my mother and, and my father play piano and all that, you know, it gave me a kind of thing to go on and play yeah. by ear, start with. And then later on, in my later days, you know, started to learn to read music and, right. and all that. So tell me about, so you went from the piano, um, I'm, sh I'm sure you still love the piano. Well, um, that's what I play, I play yeah. up to this okay. evening I play. Exactly. <laughs> But you did have a foray into Pan. Steve yeah, Pan. yeah, yeah. I went to play. I went and um, what's the weekend? I went to hang out, as they say, by Star Live. Right. That was in 1968. Didn't, but didn't go to play no Pan and ended up playing bass. <laughs> <laughs> and I understand from that you were um, told mm -hmm. that you had to play for Panorama? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> How was that experience? Well, what happened is the guys who were in Star Live at the time, they knew I played piano in St. James. You know, Pelham already. Yeah. Because all my brothers and them play Pan and all that. So. When they saw me on the bass, they get excited, you know. They go, play for Panorama, you play for Panorama. I say, yeah, I'll say I play for Panorama. And how, so was, um, how was it that first time playing for Panorama? Well, um, what they had to do, what I did really is run a, go in the yard in the day and then learn the tune, learn the tune running and, and keep coasting in the yard. And um, I learned a lot of pan, I learned the guitar pan, I learned to play the second band, I learned to play tenor, I learned to play everything. <laughs> then knowing that I later on I will be an arranger too. Right, <laughs> and so let's talk about, uh, about that a little bit. Now I understand you had done collaborations and work with a number of Calypsonians. Yeah, um, in well I uh, saw so, um, so. my, my darling, Calypso Rose. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I did <laughs> tomorrow's her um, birthday, you know. Yeah, tomorrow's her birthday. Yeah, tomorrow's her birthday, well, so we're yeah. celebrating her today. Uh, happy birthday, Rose, from now, <laughs> from PG. So yeah. I, I um. I did Rose Row first road match and then repeat her in the second year. Um with a double and she won the tri triple crown and all that. Triple you know. crown, all that. Yeah. So yeah, I so. did all that. So And how was it working with Calypso Rose? Good, great. She you know, she um she was humble and thing, you know what I mean? And she had a nice vibe and um she enjoyed playing and then, you know when she went to um Toronto the year after she won the crown, the first time she they get the honor in Toronto and all kind of things. She gave me the trophy. She said, that trophy is for you. Did you make me? <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know yeah. it shows her and she always remember. She always remember. The last year I did a show in Napa with her. Yeah. And she told the, the crowd, she stopped the show and tell the, the audience that this man here, he deserves a national, a bigger national award. The greatest. <laughs> <laughs> she always, you know. She always, she always gives shows gratitude and, and yeah, and yeah. Everyone come here yeah, now. We hug up. We this up. We kiss up. Yeah. everything. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, and you know, looking at her performances on stage and stuff, you know how lively she is, and yeah, and and you know, just her character. At that age, at that age, yeah, still, yeah. still, still, you, you know, know she recently, 
performed um, Calypso at uh, the Coachella Music yeah, Festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a big one. Yeah, you know, even then, all the antics and stuff on stage. Yeah. Uh, you know, she still, she still has that she fire. She still have it, yeah. <laughs> she still has that. Now, you have an event coming up, and we have two tickets in front of us right here, right now. Um, tell us a little bit about the event. Right. Well, it's the, the event name, um, Pelham Goddard, the, the many sides of Pelham Goddard and Roots. And Roots. So we do know all kind of music, and it's at, at um, Kaiso Blues today. Starting at seven o'clock, and um, it's only a hundred dollars to come in. Yeah, you know, and so we have um, very affordable price to right, come have, and take in this. Um, we have a front music. line with uh, Marisha Kagan. We have um, um, Russell Kodogan, mm -hmm. and we have um, Tony Prescott at the front line. Really? And then we have all my musicians that started roots. Right, right, Rick right. Maynard, Hayden Robin, Albert Bush is there. You know, and it's a good lineup of musicians. Yes, most definitely. And that's definitely something to look forward to because it is tonight at the Kaiso Blues. At the Kaiso Blues. Yeah. Yeah. I want to thank you so much, Pelham Goddard, yeah. for joining us this morning yeah. and and um, chatting with us about your your up, your like journey in music and, and your relationship with yeah. um, Calypso, Calypso Rose. Calypso Rose. And of course, um, and I your wish wonderful... And I happy birthday tomorrow. And, you know... Yes. Definitely. We, we all wish you were in Trinidad. Happy birthday. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks for having me.